What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to install and use the controlling mod. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future videos. When you're playing Minecraft, there's a lot of buttons to start to learn and get memorized. Sometimes you maybe want to open up your inventory, but then you'll accidentally pull up something from your creative menu without even realizing it. There's an easy way to fix this with the controlling mod. This is a useful utility mod that will help get everything settled. But before we jump in, you got to know that you can get everything you need in the description of this video. Under useful links, you can find anything you need. To install the mod, you're first going to need to make sure you have a Forge profile, so check out in the description the how to install Minecraft Forge. From here, you're going to go to your Google search bar and search up controlling mod Minecraft, or once again look in the description. From here, you should see a CurseForge page somewhere and select that link. Once you're at this page, you should be able to scroll down to where you see the files next to description. Select that, and then on the new page that loads, you'll scroll down to where you see Recent Files, and on the right-hand side of that, select View All. From here, you'll be able to select whatever game version that you want. Since I have the 1.16.5 version of Forge, that's the version I'll select. And once you're here, you can download the latest version with the download button under Actions. From here, we're going to cover how to install it on your client. So. In your Minecraft launcher, you're going to want to open up the Installations tab at the top. Select your Forge version, again for me it's 1.16.5, and open up the folder next to the green play button. In this new page that opens up, you're going to locate the Mods folder. Double click that to open it up, and then you're going to click and drag the controlling mod into this folder, and that will get it installed onto your client side. The only thing you have to do from here now is launch the Forge version of your choice. So head back to the play button and get started. Now let's cover the mod. This actually is a mod that you don't really even need to open up a new world for, you just need to head into your options menu. So once you're here in the main page, you're just going to select the options button. Once you've done that, you're going to head to the controls section. Now, this is where you should see something different than regular vanilla Minecraft. Namely, there's a few different key things, no pun intended, that show up. For example, there's the search bar first, and the search bar allows you to search up, for example, back, and as you can see, the only one that showed up was walk backwards with the keybind respective to that command. So that's really helpful if you're looking for something very specific for whatever command you're looking for. Next, we're going to talk about the category. Category is super useful, especially when we're talking about specific mods. As you can see, I typed in back again, but this time it pulled up the mod sophisticated backpacks that I've also added in. This is super useful for mod specific things. Next, let's talk about the key. Key is useful for the key specific bindings. So for example, if I want to look up a specific key like shift then i can look up shift and that comes up or if i try control you can see what is sprint for me is left control now if i set something to two different controls right and left the word control pulls up both it's very useful for whatever specific key bind you're looking for next we're going to talk about the sort sort is by a through z or z through a just very useful for alphabetical order next we can talk about the conflicts. Now this obviously doesn't have anything unless something is conflicting. So if I put two at space, then you'll see two different conflicting keybinds. All you have to do is click reset to get that back to normal. Next, we're going to talk about the show unbound versus show all. If you're showing the unbound ones, that means they don't have a keybind and you can set one if you want to. Of course, if you click show all again, then you go straight back to the main page. Next is toggle free, and this one shows all the available keys on your keyboard that you can use that have not been used yet. So if you want to use one, then you can see that list. 
Next is reset keys, and you actually have to double click this one in order to get every key bind back to normal, which is just a giant reset. Now let's talk about some common issues. The main kind of one that you can generally group together is that the mods don't load properly or the game doesn't load properly, and this often comes from a version mismatch. All you need to do is make sure that you're running the proper version of the game. For example, I was running Fabric, but that doesn't work with Forge mods, so just switch it over and you'll be good. Well gamers, that just about does it for this one. If you're anything like me, Minecraft can get kind of confusing sometimes with however many different buttons there are. Sometimes you'll take screenshots by accident, or pull up all the wrong things whenever you're trying to do third person mode. But with this mod, it helps a lot, especially when you get into different types of plugins and mods. Well, that'll just about do it, gamers. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.